What's good YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to create this freeze frame flash transition inside After Effects. We're going to be creating this fast paced transition by masking out our subject as well as creating a flash effect within four different scenes. So let's get right into it. So here in After Effects I have these four clips playing of Don Tolliver from the Precision music video and as you guys can see all four of these scenes are happening within one camera shot. So what we're going to do in order to get started is we're going to go to our second layer and we're going to duplicate that layer click ctrl d i'm going to click this layer and rename it to dawn 2 freeze just so i know that that's the freeze frame layer click that layer right click go to time click freeze frame i'm going to make this layer three frames long and then bring this freeze frame layer three frames back and then what i'm going to do is mask out my subject in order to make it easier to mask out our subject because our subject is in a darker environment i'm going to add a curves effect to this freeze frame layer, bring up the values and the highlights just so that's easier to see my subject. Once I'm done masking out my subject, I will eventually delete this curves effect. I'm going to then grab my pen tool and mask out my subject. After masking out your subject, what I'm going to do is turn off the layer underneath and turn on the transparency grid just so that we can see the edges of our subject. Click the freeze frame layer and click M in order to reveal the mask. I'm just going to decrease the mask expansion to negative 2 and increase the mask feather to 3 just so that it makes the edges of our subject feel smoother. Delete the curves effect for this freeze frame layer and then turn the first layer on. I'm going to then add an exposure effect to this freeze frame layer in order to create that flash effect. Keep frame the exposure at 3 in the beginning. Click that layer and click U to reveal the keyframes. Go towards the end of the layer, keyframe the exposure to 0. And then what I'm going to do is add a glow effect to this freeze frame layer. Keyframe the glow intensity at 1 in the beginning. Go towards the end, keyframe the glow intensity to 0. Grab all those keyframes, easy ease them. Go into the graph editor of the exposure keyframes. I'm going to have my graph like this where the influence is at 100%. It animates fast in the beginning and then it animates out slow. I'm going to create the same exact graph for the glow intensity keyframes have the influence at 100 and now if we play this we have that really fast paced freeze frame flash transition i'm going to then go to the third scene click ctrl d make that layer three frames long make sure to click that layer right click go to time and freeze frame that layer just like before bring that layer three frames back and what i'm going to do is add a curves effect to this freeze framed layer bring up the highlights and then mask out our subject after masking out our subject, I'm going to do the same thing and click that layer and click M in order to reveal the mask. I'm going to turn off the layer underneath just so that we can see our masked subject. Turn on the transparency grid, increase the mask feather to 3, decrease the mask expansion to negative 2. Just do the same thing for my mask 2. And then turn on the layer underneath. Make sure to delete the curves effect for this freeze framed layer. I'm going to rename it to Dawn 3 Freeze. And for this layer, I'll be keyframing the position where our subject will be animating up. So keyframe the position at its original position. Bring that keyframe to the end. And I'm going to have it animate in a way where it slides up. And then I'm going to add the same effects from the first freeze frame layer, exposure and the glow, click Control C, and then click the freeze frame layer that we just masked out, click Control V in order to copy and paste those effects onto this layer. Make sure to easy ease the position keyframes, go into the graph editor of those position keyframes, create the same graph that we did for the other effects. Make sure to have the motion blur on for this freeze frame layer. And now if we play this, we have a flash effect in the beginning, and then when it reaches the third scene, we have our freeze frame layer animating up now moving on to the final scene what we're going to do is duplicate this layer so click ctrl d make sure that this layer is three frames long click that layer right click go to time and click freeze frame bring that layer three frames back and then we're going to do the same exact thing where we add the curves effect to this layer increase the values grab the pen tool and mask out my subject after masking out the subject, I'm going to turn off the background layer for now, delete the curves effect for that layer, turn on the transparency grid, and click that layer, click M in order to reveal the mask, and then I'm going to change my mask to from add to subtract so that it gets rid of that part of the background of this layer. Do the same thing for mask 3, click subtract, and then we're going to adjust the mask feather as well as the mask expansion for all three of these masks. Increase the mask feather to 3 and decrease the mask expansion to negative to turn off the transparency grid and then turn on the background layer. I'm also going to rename this layer. 
we're going to keyframe the position of this freeze frame layer in a way where it animates from left to right. Keyframe the position, bring that keyframe towards the end. I'm going to keyframe it towards the left where it's entirely out of the composition. Grab those keyframes, easy ease them. Make sure to have the motion blur on. Go into the graph editor of those position keyframes. Create the same exact graph that we did for the other keyframes. We're going to then grab the exposure as well as the glow effect and copy and paste it to this freeze frame layer. Now if we play this, we have this really fast paced freeze frame flash transition happening within these four different scenes. It's a really fast transition that can just add a lot of energy to your music videos. And that is all I have for this video. If you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.